One more time to take us on out of here from Leesburg is Leo the Singing Indian Harrison. Wade, before I get started, I want to tell you all that I have been notified that this is the number one television program in the southeastern United States for a local program. You all have got an audience out there you couldn't believe. Well, that's all right, Mama. That's all right. That's all right, pretty mama, just any way you do, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right, mama, any way you want it. Real mama, she done told me, papa done told me to me. Son, that gal you fooling with ain't no good for you, that's all right. But that's all right, mama, any way you want it. Listen to this first, Wade. Sit here. All right, don't listen. Well, when I was just a baby, mama told me, son, always be a good boy. Don't ever play with guns. Shot a man in Reno. Just to watch him die. Right. I'm telling you, you, right. you have worked up. Thank you. Worked up a sweat. Yeah, you? you have. You've worked up a sweat, and I mean, it's been fun listening to you well, entertain. I that. I You're a busy that. man. Try to be. You are Try a be. busy man. Tell me a little bit about uh, uh, all the things that you're involved in right now. Well, I own my own business. I do. The, I own the fireplace and the heater shop out of Albany, Georgia. Right now, I do that, a lot of stonework. Yeah, I was going to say you build fireplaces, right? I build fireplaces. I do stonework. I got me a web page, uh -huh. www.customstonework.com. Okay. That's advertising. That's okay. You got a phone okay. number? Area nine one two four three two five two nine six. That's the fireplace. That's the fireplace shop. Okay. I hold a lead. Now, the civic things that you're involved in. I'm the commander for the veterans of the Vietnam War, Post One, out of Albany. Okay. I'm fully involved with the American Legion Post 30 out of Albany, okay. the VFW, and the transportation unit with the veterans there. Mm -hmm. I helped Mr. Bishop and them open the VA clinic, or I was there present. I won't say I helped them, but I sponsored them to help. Didn't we see you recently, or didn't I see you recently uh, on television taking down a tattered American flag and replacing it with the... Uh... certainly did. Uh, Mr. Sanford Bishop got us a new flag that had been flown over the Capitol. Washington DC came with a certificate and we took down the old tattered flag and the POWMIA flag. Right, that's that stands for prisoner of war and missing in action. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah. There's still some boys over there. And uh, we replaced them with brand new flags recently and was made television with them. Alright now you have something to do with the Music Hall of Fame, right? I'm on the committee that puts the sponsors and puts on the Pelham Country Jamboree every Saturday night from 5 o'clock until we go home around 11, 11.30 or so. Mm -hmm. It's free to the public. Bring your lawn chair and come on. If you ever entertain the idea that you want to be a superstar, we've got open mic time down there. If you come down there, I'll get you in front of a microphone and I'll play behind you and we'll send you to the top. But uh, Mr. Roy Street started that about four or five years ago. We draw two to four hundred people every Saturday night. We've got something special to draw up into the thousands. They sit in, out in the street, parking lots everywhere. And uh, recently, he had the opportunity to talk to the people at the Georgia Music Hall of Fame, and we have got a spot there. If you go there and look at the video, you'll see Leo in oh, there, amongst right. the crowd. But uh, the Bellum Country Jamboree has made the Georgia Music Hall of Fame a tickle to death about it. Well, I t Leo, I can't thank you enough. We're going to wind this thing up because you're melting all over the front porch. I know. <laughs> but we are just tickled to death to have you with I us. Appreciate and it. I hope you'll come back and be with us. Uh, You've enjoyed yeah. tonight's show as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. Have a strong week, everybody. Until next time, good times.